Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the session. I understand you guys can see and hear me, can't you? Good morning, Happy Verma, Ajay Rathor, and all the others that are there. Yes, Yugant, I can see you. Harshita, good to see you. All right, let's get started, guys, with this beautiful session that is our editorial session. Why do we do this? We do this just so that you guys can handle your RC passages more easily. You can nail the crux, tone, and flow in a very, very smooth way. And that, in turn, will help you increase your accuracy. Right? But before I take you over to today's topic, it's the announcements. So there is this offer going on which ends on 17th. Today is what? Post Valentine. So it's 15th. Day after tomorrow, this uh, offer ends. It's a straight 20% off. And what happens in this? If you take a 12 month subscription, you get two months extra for plus and you pay only 22,400. For iconic, you pay 35,200. This works out to less than 2000 per month. Guys, this is a great chance to get started with your preparation. And I look forward to seeing you in the class. You can use my referral code Shabana Live. That's there at the bottom of the slide. Yes. Uh, Mahi, yes. Almost every day. Okay. Zero to Zenith match for CAT 24. We are starting this on Feb 17th. And uh, if you're a new learner, please get associated with this. So what happens as part of a batch course, you get all the topics on the syllabus without having to run here and there for uh, like all the topics and all the subjects. Okay, so get associated with this, guys. It will help you a lot. All right. The third announcement is our congrats wala slide. You all must be familiar with this, so you can be next on this. Get started with your prep. All right. Let's take a look at the topic now. Mahi and Tushar and Harshita and Priyanka, Ganesh and all of you. Yes, Harshita, it works for renewal as well. But uh, just try it. In case it doesn't work, you can take a separate ID and take a subscription with that. Yes, uh, Happy Verma. No, these are exactly what Cat Cherry picks. Happy Verma. So I make it a point to pick these editorials, these passages exactly from those cat sources, just so that you guys are like, you know, very close to the bull's eye. Okay. So koi bhi, aha, the questions that are there with this passage, with these passages are a little easy because I'm teaching people how to uh, gain a foothold. All right. So let's get started with this topic now. Chayan and Harshita and everyone. Survival of the fastest. We all have heard survival of the fittest, haven't we? Survival of the fittest. Just this morning, we were discussing evolution. We were discussing uh, Darwin's theory of evolution and how genes play an important role and how natural selection is there, right? So these terms come to, come to mind. And survival of the fittest is one of those terms. But here, there is something different. This is survival of the fastest. So fastest in terms of speed, like if survival of the fastest rule is there, I definitely would lose because I can't run very fast. Hmm. Only slim people or like agile people can run fast. Okay, so let's check. This is survival of the fastest in terms of brain or in terms of your limbs, how far your limbs can carry. Okay, thank you so much for saying that uh, MBA VRC vocabulary. You made my day. Okay. So what does the first para say? Just relax, sit back with your chai coffee and enjoy the session, guys. Survival of the fittest often means survival of the fastest. This is the author's perception. But fastest doesn't mean the fastest moving. Limbs, not necessarily. It might mean the fastest thinking. Why, why do species get wiped out, Harshita? Because they are not able to adapt to the changing environment. They are not able to think quickly on their feet. If you take part in an extempore competition, Harshita and Paras and Parth and Chayan, if you're not able to think on your feet and speak spontaneously right there at that moment, you will be eliminated. That is what the author is saying. It might mean the fastest thinking. When faced with the approach of a powerful predator, for instance, a quick brain can be just as important as quick feet. 
it's not always necessary that I have to be a fast runner. I can just think immediately, a tiger is coming. What should I do? Should I just lie flat? Should I just pretend that I'm dead? Will he come and smell me? Will he be able to smell that I'm alive? Or will he be able to smell that I'm dead? So you have to think fast. That's what the first para says. The second para says what? After all, it is the brain that tells the feet what to do. Very true. When to move, in what direction, how long, etc. And various additional mental acrobatics are needed to evade an attacker and avoid being eaten. A would-be meal's brain, that means a prey, a shikarka brain must decide whether to run or freeze, outrun, outweight, keep going, find a place to hide, right? Yes. It also helps if the brain remembers where the best hiding spots are and recalls past encounters with similar predators. So overall, the second paragraph is talking about how the brain can actually come to our assistant, assistance and save us when we are facing an adversary. So instead of depending too much on your feet, you should be able to think quickly. So what is the main idea of the passage? Main idea kya hota hai? Main idea is the angle. Now, think of it, in, think of it this way. Is the main idea predator? Is the main idea prey? P-R-E-Y. Is the main idea escaping your predator? Is the main idea being very fast on your feet? Is the main idea using your brains when in danger? What exactly is the angle? So we all, we can see from here. He is talking, see, even if you're not able to come up with a sentence, that is the main idea. Just come up with random words. Random words, yaha pe kya honge? All of you. Thinking, fast, brains, escaping, right? That is survival of the fastest. Got it, guys? How to handle pressure? Yes, sure. How to, how to act very fast with the help of your brain? That is very, very clear. Now, guys, the rest of the passage is going to give you some, some examples related to this. It will talk about some points that will come under this umbrella. So even if you don't read the forthcoming paragraphs completely, you can still understand that everything is related to, to your thinking very fast and escaping the uh, predator. Right? Yes, Pratham, you got it. Cool. I'm taking you over to the next part. Now the process of escape. Yaha bola hai, he should, he should understand how to escape. It need not always be running away. It need not always be fighting the predator. You just have to escape, but how? So now he talks about this. If an animal decides to escape, it should make his escape as quickly and as accurately as possible. Now this is going to explain the entire process. Kaisa hona chahiye? And then it should also terminate it as soon as possible because escape is a very costly affair. If you are escaping by train, hmm, if I am your predator, aapko mere se nahi padna hai, we are. So you are trying to escape, you take the train. By If you keep going, 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 going by train, it's going to be a costly affair. This is a simple example just to drive home my point, but try to understand. So you should also know where to stop. Kitni dur bhagna hai, kaha jana hai, wapas jaha se nahi aasakta, wapas ruk jau. Because if you continue doing it, it's going to be costly. It costs energy. It also costs missed opportunities. Missed opportunities kya? If you were somewhere else, you could have done this. So you're running away, away, away. And you're, you're missing out on two things. Costs energy, missed opportunities, right? Escape strategy begins with detecting the possible presence of a predator. Now, he's explaining the strategy, right? The process. What is this? Detecting the presence of a predator. Mujhe ye bhi to pata chalna chahi na, the predator is there. Detection should be rapid and instinctive. An instant response to a sight, sound or smell. Right? Then, so now here it's very clear that the first part is detecting the presence. Then what? Sensing the threat, an animal's brain has to quickly implement, implement complex algo. Giving muscles instructions, how to move, where to move. Oh, algo is maybe done on the it's a complicated decision-making process involving multiple considerations, in, including the threat's proximity, environmental circumstances, and the prey's own condition. Very easily, you can get a true-false question in the last three lines of this paragraph. So you know what? When I'm reading Harshil, when I'm reading this paragraph, I'm not focused too much on reading word for word. I'm focused on certain other things. Like what? 
I'm thinking, how is the paragraph connected to the main idea? Yes, yes, the main idea said escape. The main idea said thinking very fast. So this is explaining the uh, strategy. Then what is the crux of the paragraph? How is the flow? He's talking about two or three. He's talking first about how it is expensive. It's costly. It costs you missed opportunities and energy. Then the second part talks about the two steps, the strategy. So these are the things that I focus on. Ki aise aise chal raha hai. Now there can be a question here. I'll come back and I'll read in detail. The last part of this paragraph talks about three or four points. How is it a decision-making process? How? So, it's a decision-making process in, involving multiple considerations. Kaisa? Threat, kaha kitni dur hai? Proximity, environmental circumstances. Meri khud ki condition kya hai? Can I escape fast? Can I do this? Can I do that? You have to consider these things. Now, let's take a look at the question. Yes, Ganesh, it says, which of the following, if true, would not support an animal's decision to escape? If this question is there at the end of the passage, you can remember very clearly decision, decision, decision making was there at the second panel. Let me come to the second panel now and read the last four lines very clear, clearly, carefully, because decision to yahi pe bola hai. So this question is connected with the last four lines of this paragraph, right? I'm giving you time. Read the last four lines once again. I'll take you over to the question, to the options. Done, sorted. The question says would not support. Okay, now. If you want, I can take you back. back. Look at the uh, points there, the facts there at the bottom of the paragraph. Threats, proximity, predator kitne nazdeek hai, environmental circumstances kya hai, right? And the prey's own condition, mera khud ka condition kya hai, right? I'm taking you back. Hmm. Yes, Shubham, Pratham, Harshita, Sejal. So what is the answer? Something that does that would not support an animal's decision. You should know where to connect. So the last four lines, the last three lines have those points. You have to just connect and you have to interpret and understand that. Yes, Parth. Harshita says two. Okay. Okay. Three, two, four. Okay, let's go back and confirm. It's a complicated decision making process involving multiple considerations like what? Threats, proximity. Who is the threat? The predator, right? The predator is very close and a looming threat. So one would support his decision. Done? Okay. Next. Environmental circumstances. Usko chhod dete hai filhan. Let's go to prey's own condition. Meri khud ki halat kya hai. Right? Based on that, I'm going to make my decision. The escaping animal has a wound on the leg. Three will support my decision. If I have got a wound on the leg, I will not think of escaping by running away. I'll think of escaping by pretending, by doing something else. Because I have got a wound on the leg. So the, the escaping animal's condition that relates with this. So three definitely would support, right? I'm left with two and four. Now go back. The next point says environmental circumstances. Environmental circumstances, what? There is darkness all around making vision difficult. Vision for whom? For the prey, for the person, for the animal that is in danger. There is, the, that, there is darkness all around. If I'm trying to escape, if I'm trying to run away and there is darkness all around, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm going to keep that in mind and I'm going to do this. I'm going to make my escape decision according to that environment, right? 
Option four is the one that will not support my decision. Why? Because option four is from the predator's side. The predator can smell and see the prey clearly. Whether he is at a distance or he is not at a distance, doesn't matter. But he can smell and see. That does not affect my decision. Yaha bola hai, mera decision making will, de de will depend on three factors. These are the three factors that I will consider and then make my decision. So those three factors connect with one, two and three. The fourth one is related to what the predator can see and smell. It does not affect my decision making in any way. Got it, Parth, Saurabh, Harshita. Clear? Okay. Great. Okay? So what I'm trying to teach you here is how to understand that this question pertains to this portion of the paragraph. So if you're looking for your answer, Parth and Harshita and uh, Sachin, do not look for the answers here and there. You know that it has to connect with this portion and there are factors. Try to interpret those factors. Cool. Okay, the next part now. Some examples. He said that the predators are there, preys are there, how will they escape? It depends on certain factors, certain things that contribute to decision making. Now this example thing. Even the simplest animals have evolved rapid escape actions when detecting an immediate threat. Simplest animals. Fruit flies adjust the position of their legs in order to jump away from a threatening stimulus. They buckle their legs or they straighten it or whatever, they adjust the position. Cockroaches. So there are two examples, fruit flies and cockroaches. Why is he giving the example? Ye to definitely a question banta hai. Cockroaches scurry rapidly away in a direction roughly opposite that of the approaching predator, but not always precisely the same direction, choosing from three or four possible paths. The predator is coming from this side. The cockroach will run in the opposite direction, but it's not always the same tangent, like this, like this, like this this it can be any of the four or five paths that are there that are possible okay oh yeah so this paragraph is giving you two uh, examples fruit flies and cockroaches the moment i read this i understand a question to yaha pe banta hai why is he giving the example of cockroaches okay you can skim the examples but you need to understand kyu diya hai example kyu so the first line gives you the reason it gives you the crux of the paragraph even the simplest animals have evolved, escape rapid actions. They have understood, they have evolved over the years how to escape from a predator. Okay? What does the next para say? Of course, many other parts of the, of the brain contribute to an animal's threat response. So, there are parts of the brain. Right? Some, sometimes neural signals, you can easily skim this. A hungry mouse might get a message from the hypothalamus suggesting a delay, okay. Much remains to be learned about other aspects of brain circuitry that influence escape behavior. So the second paragraph talks about how various parts of the brain give you certain signals. Okay, let's check the question that is there. What is the author assuming while mentioning cockroaches? What is assumption? We did it in basics of critical reasoning. Assumption kya hai? The author is saying something. Oh, so you mean to say that what? Got it guys? So cockroaches, a cockroaches run away in a direction roughly opposite, but not always in the same direction, choosing from three or four possible paths. Okay, you are saying this. So you mean to say that this, 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 what? Let's take a look at the options. Hmm. Go with process of elimination. And what is the paragraph talking about? Always connect with that. I'll take you back. Okay. Yes, back. Usne cockroach kyu mention kiya? 
rapid he says that they rapidly run away in a direction roughly opposite that of the approaching predator but so where is the claim the claim of the author regarding cockroaches is after but but not always precisely in the same direction they choose different paths oh so you mean to say that if what Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, all different answers. Think of it this way, guys. He's saying that, he's claiming that about cockroaches. So, what is the underlying thought? Hmm. If cockroaches, let's check option three. If cockroaches escaped quickly and in the opposite direction, they would not meet that same predator the next time. That's the first elimination. You mean to say that they would not meet the same predator the next time? Doesn't matter. They can meet the next predator. They can meet another predator. That is not their concern. Same ho ya na ho. They just want to avoid predators. Right? So option three is up. It's between one and two. Okay? Now between one and two, let's check it this way. It has to be more connected with the conclusion. The conclusion is they, they move in different, they move on different paths, right? So between one and two, definitely the answer is two. If he's saying over there, they always, they, but not always precisely in the same direction. And they choose between three or four possible paths. The paragraph is talking about evolving. Cockroaches have consciously come up with this method. That is what it is talking. It's not by chance or by accident that they just move, you know, blindly they just move here and there. No. The paragraph talks about evolution, evolving a way of escape. And then he gives the cockroach example. So we know that this is done intentionally to avoid the predator. So if the cockroach is taking different paths, oh, that means if they always chose the exact same angle, the predators would come, come upon them. The predators would uh, hit them, right? This is what they think and that is why they kind of move in different directions, in different uh, on different paths, right? And if, if you take option one, if cockroaches put up a fight, they would most likely be killed. That is a little away from the assumption. Why? Because the claim is saying, the claim is not about fighting or not fighting, escaping or not escaping. The claim is about taking different paths. Did you get it, Harshita? So, uh, in assumption, we try to keep the answer as, as closely connected as possible to the conclusion. So, the conclusion is talking about paths. That's why it's two. Got it? Okay, that brings me to the end of the session, guys. We did, we learned something about escape. We learned something about evolving ways of escape, right? We saw some examples of cockroaches, fruit flies and all. Now, if you, if you are intrigued by the topic, you should do a little bit of reading or YouTubing on evolution, theories of evolution, Darwin's theory, right? Natural selection, survival of the fittest, survival of the fastest, how your brain tells you how to escape. These are the five or six topics that you should just kind of bundle up and do a little bit of reading on these. What will happen as a result of this? Next time, whenever there's a mention of such things in your passages, everything will be as clear as crystal to you in a jiffy. Got it, guys. Everyone, bye-bye. Take care. I'm going to see you later in another day.